We're here live from Denver for Monday Night Raw. In the Mile High City marks the start of the road to WrestleMania. For some superstars, that road is paved with gold. For others, they run out of gas and have to wait an eternity for a tow truck. Thanks for the uh, poetic metaphor, King. Tonight's show is highlighted by a World Heavyweight Championship match. John Cena will get a shot at champion Chris Jericho. I don't know why you think you deserve a title shot all of a sudden, but it really doesn't matter, Junior. I'll beat you tonight, then you'll have to retake your spot at the back of the line where you belong. Struck eight year old fans sitting in the cheap seats. The center stage with a much bigger task at hand the World Heavyweight title. John Cena spoiling for a fight, and you know Jericho will give him one. And John Cena's in complete control. Ouch! That was a heavy shot. Jericho claims tonight he will end the phenomenon of John Cena. That this fairy tale is going to conclude very bad. And there's an elbow drop. Driving his skull into the ground. And there's a counter by Jericho. Oh, look at this! DDT! Jericho reverses it! He's got him covered! Cena 
Cena was hit by pitfall or submission for the title to change hands. to good use. Uh. Oh, and he's just taking it to him. We might be seeing the beginning of the end. He may get the three count right One, here. Two, three. Cena wins. Cena wins. We have a new champion. Cena took all that Chris Jericho had to dish out. Rose to the occasion, and now he's the World Heavyweight Champion. Of course, that means every other Raw superstar will be looking to take that title from him. John Cena's been in this position before. He knows what it takes to stay champion. Good night from Denver. Your time is up, my time is now, now. You can't see me, my time is now, now. It's the franchise where I'm shining now, now. You can't see me, my time is now. Jim Ross and my colleague Taz welcome you to SmackDown in lovely Tampa, Florida. JR, we've got a huge show tonight. The WWE Championship will be up for grabs. The game. Triple H puts his title on the line against MVP. John Cena beat Chris Jericho to become World Heavyweight Champion on Raw just a few days ago. And I bet MVP is looking to follow suit. champion Triple H. Your reign ends tonight. And once I get my hands on the title, I'm not gonna let it go for a long, long time. Time to play the game? Huh. You're gonna get played, all right. is for the WWE Heavyweight Championship. I want you to remember Introducing the challenger. But the day don't have no memory. From Miami, Florida, weighing 259 pounds, Montel Von Tavius Porter. Yeah. They be never ever gonna change like drop the can. I got the juice. All for the least to let the dog loose. Don't make me call up the crew. Get scared when I call up a truth. I'm the one like Neil, cocky like Teal. Nobody can go me like I'm shooting a freak though. This is illegal, my flow is legal. And it's me, it will never be a secret. Come in. And I am playing all the fucking truth And if you get to 
155 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Triple E! WWE Championship on the line. The game. He's not going to be thrown off by the posturing of MVP, man. Absolutely. But, man, does MVP want that championship bad or what? He's not going to let this opportunity go easy. He hasn't even given his opponent a chance to breathe. Definitely hit hard. MVP got to be careful not to get frustrated or overzealous in this one. If he does, Taz, you know the cerebral assassin will capitalize. That one flattened him. A nice reversal by MVP. Out of the ring. What's going to happen now? Oh. And he goes for the neck break. Oh. That's a serious shot there. And Triple H rocks his opponent with the knee. Just a fantastic suplex. And again, it's a one fall title match here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. We talked about opportunity. That's what these superstars are always looking for. And right now, Triple H has an opportunity. Damn, pedigree. They don't get much bigger than that. Road break. That's going to leave them off. Oh, God. A clubbing axe handle. There's the whip. This could do it. 
Okay, break! And MVP gets the shoulder up at Get two. And now he's challenging the official's call. Ooh, he doesn't know where he is. It appears he's looking to put his opponent away here. Another foe vanquished by the King of Kings. Triple H just showed MVP who the real playmaker is. MVP put up a heck of a good fight, but the cerebral assassin proved to be too much for him tonight. Too much is right. Triple H is going to be a tough champ to dethrone. Believe that. It's all about the game. And how you play it. It's all about control. And if you can take it. It's all about your death. And if you can play it. It's all about pain. Thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. We're here live from Sin City, Las Vegas. This is the perfect location for Monday Night Raw. My left foot is itching tonight, Michael. I think tonight is going to be an even crazier show than usual. Well, I do know Mr. McMahon has a big announcement to make tonight. As chairman of WWE, that could mean quite literally anything. Like a big pay raise for color commentators? She yeah, had probably won't be that gang. Speaking of money, the WWE chairman is coming to the ring. As many of you know, we're just starting to pick up speed on the road to WrestleMania. Now, usually, this means rivals are jockeying for position in their respective brands. Championships are changing or being strengthened and so on. That's not the road I necessarily envision this year. I want brand warfare. I want the best of Raw and the best of SmackDown. And I want him to prove who truly is the champion of champions. I want to see SmackDown versus Raw. Come on out here. I called for title matches on both Raw and SmackDown last week and you both emerged as the champions. But that could, and most likely will, change. What matters is who holds the championships after No Way Out. Now, since I've gathered the entire WWE roster here tonight, we're going to have a little interbrand battle royal. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I didn't like Vince's tone out there. And since I'm in this inner brand battle royal, I should try to win and show him that my championship isn't going anywhere.
for the Top Rope Six-Man Battle Royal. Introducing first, from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. From Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, Batista!
in the Interbrand Battle Royal has begun. And he brings his leg crashing down. That one didn't land flush, but it did connect. Ooh, that did it. He's in big trouble. There they go. He's fought out of it. You hear how his leg connected? And that partnership got the job done. Uh oh, Kane's out. He's not coming over here, is he? Earlier tonight, Mr. McMahon proclaimed he wanted to see brand warfare at WrestleMania. Well, if it's a war Mr. McMahon wants, you know these Raw superstars will bring it. And there goes Batista. What a crush off for the Raw brand. Hardy's been eliminated. Jeff Hardy's out of the battle royal. They pushed him out. They got him out. Great counter. Oh, the force, my God. And there goes Trip. Cena wins. Cena wins. John Cena has won the Interbrand Battle Royal. That means Raw wins. I hope Mr. McMahon saw that. I'm sure he did, King. I suppose that makes the score Raw won. SmackDown, nothing. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a good night, Michael. In a world full of winners and losers, two men have risen above to bring you The Dirt Sheet. Mr. McMahon is looking for the best in WWE to go at it at WrestleMania to determine the champion of champions. Yeah, hello, boss. Remember us? I'm pretty sure you sign our enormous paychecks every week. And you've complimented my abs on more than one occasion. But instead, he just wants the Raw and SmackDown champions. He never even mentioned ECW. So we thought we'd take a look at these so-called champs. First up is John Cena, world heavyweight champion. First he's a rapper, then he's a soldier. One thing's been consistent, though. He's, he's always lame. lame. Then there's the game, Triple H. He's WWE champion. First off, only losers play games. It's true. Next, what does he do? The guy hasn't had a cool move since he did that little bow thing, and that was like 15 years ago. So, Mr. McMahon, we urge you to take a closer look at ECW, and more specifically, us, because we are the guru of greatness. And your chick magnet. Be jealous. and welcome to ECW Live from San Antonio. Todd Grisham and Matt Stryker here. Glad you're joining us tonight. Some other people are joining us tonight as well, Todd. Evidently, The Miz and Morrison's latest episode of The Dirt Sheet poked some fun at John Cena and Triple H, both of whom are in the building. Let's just hope they're only looking for the heads of The Miz and John Morrison and not the rest of us. 
I would throw you under the bus so fast. You do know that, don't you? I always knew you two were avid viewers of the dirt sheet, and who can blame you? But if you're upset about our insightful commentary, we'll gladly meet you in the ring to have a spirited debate. I mean, beat your faces in. Oh yeah, these two need to get hurt. I don't care if it's from me or Cena, but Miz and Morrison should each eat at least two finishers. Striker, you can smell the arrogance in the air. Miz and Morrison are the two cockiest men in all the WWE. Well, I typically can't stand what these two have to say, but right now, I appreciate the fact that Miz and John Morrison stood up for our brand, DC Dunn. As we stated at the start of the program, Triple H and John Cena are here for a little bit of payback after the statements made on the dirt sheet. My jaw virtually hit the space bar when Miz and Morrison called Cena lame. And then when the Miz said of Triple H that playing games is for losers, quite frankly, you had to think that there'd be hell to pay. And boy, are they paying it now. Ooh, the impact. He's out. There's a boot right to the midsection. And the chick magnet might need some smelling salts. <laughs> Last week on Raw, the WWE Chairman, Mr. McMahon, stated WrestleMania will feature SmackDown's champion versus Raw's champion. Much like our maladjusted compatriots, I felt extremely slighted that ECW wasn't mentioned in this battle for the ages. He needs to do whatever he can to make a tag. The ref goes down, and I don't want to postulate as to what's going to happen now. Miz gets cracked. She's back out on the apron. And he gets nailed with the knee. And the elbow rocks him. I'm looking at his partner right now, and if he wants his team to win, he may have to do it himself. And there's a quick elbow. Just raw power and physicality. Oh, did he ever get it? Oh, and 
Morrison got a shot and a half there. Oh, man. And the knee connects. Yeah, that's not what he wanted. And another knee. This is disgusting. The blood is all over his head now. A series of strikes. Ooh. John Morrison goes down, and that was a huge hit. He's doing it. Somehow, some way, he's a one-man army. And there's the pedigree. Nice neck breaker right there. And that's the tag. He's making a gesture, and I assume this one is for the WWE fans. Morrison just gets clobber. Ooh. That is a shot that could probably drop a grizzly bear. Mason Martian could very well be the future of the WWE, but right now they're being beaten into something that might closely resemble the primordial big time impact delivered by Cena. And he gets out. Great teamwork there. I'm not sure how wise it is to taunt, but it'll definitely get a reaction. With the technology of today, he didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Magnet may have a hard time getting a date after this one. Pedigree! Whoa! That's dose! You're in the ropes! It might be a good time to get out of there. Looks like he's going for it. The pedigree. Game over. That's starting the count. If he get, he's going for the pin. This could be it. This could be Two. it. His partner's out. Three. Triple H and John Cena pulled out the victory. I guess the hole is not greater than the sum of its parts. Look, I'm the teacher here, okay? Quit stealing my lines. But you're right. Despite Morrison and Miz's unity, they fell to these reigning world champions. Maybe those two will think twice before they insult someone, though I doubt it. Good night. Thank you for tuning in to Monday Night Raw. I'm Michael Cole with my partner, Jerry the King Lawler, and we have a ticked-off big red monster on our hands. During the Interbrand Battle Royal two weeks ago, Cave seemed fixed on John Cena. Tonight, he gets him one-on-one. -on -one. Is there method to Kane's madness, or is he just lashing out randomly? Only the big red monster knows for sure. me last week to play with ECW Cena. I don't like waiting. But tonight, I'll get my hands on you, and there's no disqualification. 
I'm going to make sure the wait was worth it. <laughs> I don't know what I did to tick Kane off, but he's really not a guy to reason with. Maybe if I put him through a table right away, I'll knock some sense into him. The twisted and demented game has been absolutely fixated on the man from West Newberry, Massachusetts. And you don't want to be anywhere near the big red monster when he gets like this. There's a lot of things under the ring, and all of them hurt. those punches uh. and those fists just kept flying and flying wow uh. oh Last Tuesday night on ECW, we saw the very unusual pairing of Triple H and John Cena take on the Brash, Miz, and Morrison. That was nothing short of a beatdown, Cole. Miz and Morrison are phenomenal athletes, but Cena and the game went to San Antonio to prove a point. Believe it. I just, I mean, that's concrete. How do you do that to another human being? <clears throat> Never ever underestimate the sheer force behind this superstar's punches. And this one's becoming, oh, what's Jericho doing out here? Kane isn't the only one who wants a piece of you, Cena. At Royal Rumble, I'll regain my championship and get one step closer to being crowned champion of champions. I was the first undisputed WWE champion, so it's clearly my destiny. But since you're in a no disqualification match, I think I'll just smack you around right now. There's all sorts of crazy stuff under the ring, and all of it can inflict a lot of damage on an opponent. Oh, what's Jericho doing out here? Kane isn't the only one who wants a piece of you, Cena. At Royal Rumble, I'll regain my championship and get one step closer to being crowned champion of champions. I was the first undisputed WWE Champion, so it's clearly my destiny. But since you're in a no disqualification match, I think I'll just smack you around right now. And there's a hard right hand! Oh. Uh. Cena with momentum early on. Oh no! It looked like his head just bounced off that concrete! He's quickly becoming attached to that chair! And there's another nasty kick to the gut. And you gotta figure it becomes extremely difficult to breathe after a few of those. Oh, what's 
Jericho doing out here? Kane isn't the only one who wants a piece of you, Cena. At Royal Rumble, I'll regain my championship and get one step closer to being crowned champion of champions. I was the first undisputed WWE champion, so it's clearly my destiny. But since you're in a no disqualification match, I think I'll just smack you around right now. My God! Oh! Good Lord, what a series of strikes! Manages to get the shoulder up. Oh, ow! That should do it right there. One. And he kicks out. Uh. Now with complete uh. control. Ready to see more damage done with that chair. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Bam! Stars, you're looking at Constellation. He's using that ring rope in ways that it was never intended to be used. Right now, his head must be screaming in agony. Just taking it to it. Cena countered it. Get ready to see more damage done with that chair. This is it. Here he goes. Kane forces his shoulders up. Drop! And that was a hard, hard shot. Another huge tackle there. Oh no! The referee is down! What's going to happen now? And that shot was dialed in. Look at this! Might have silenced at least a few of them. And this has got to be it. One, One two, two, three. three. Cena wins. Cena wins. That victory.
victory for John Cena was a near miracle. I don't know where he finds the strength to win against such overwhelming odds. That's why he's the World Heavyweight Champion, Michael. We'll see if he can retain his title this weekend at the Royal Rumble. Good night, everybody. from Albuquerque, home of the final SmackDown before the Royal Rumble. Well, there's a locker room full of superstars who all want to win the Royal Rumble match, but only one guy will get the title opportunity against Triple H at the Rumble. The top three contenders all have a crack at Triple H tonight with a lot at stake. Triple H, your match is a little different tonight. You have to take on MVP, Jeff Hardy, and Undertaker in a three-on-one handicap match. If one of them wins, they automatically face you for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. If you win, you'll select your opponent. Have fun. Winning tonight would give me a huge mental advantage at the Royal Rumble. It's time to prove why I'm called the Cerebral Assassin. is facing down not one, not two, but three contenders. And all these guys are tough. Only one can earn a championship match at the Royal Rumble. And he strikes with the knee. Oh, man. Back out of the ring. And now he's sharing a piece of his mind. One. Two. Three. Come on. Oh, back in the ring. Four. He put all his weight behind that. Oh. What a tackle. He's taking his opponent to school here. Look at the string behind those strikes. Oh, man. How did he even take that? Look at the string behind those strikes. And he's shaking. Looks like he's going for it. Left the ring. This could be interesting. There it is! The pedigree! And that was a huge shot. Oh man, there might be no getting up from that. Break the hole! And again, he bails from the ring. Connect. Oh man, the game beating those funky colors out of Jeff's hair. But this match is far from over. Will it be Jeff who delivers the beating this Sunday? Look out! Whoa! 
What a landing. Look at the strength. Elbow connects. Not many athletes can rock the Undertaker like that. He's not going to get the three count without doing some more damage first. And that one dropped him. with authority. Look at the strength behind those strikes. Uh-oh. His opponent got him down. He almost took a head off with that Larry. And another knee. Down he goes. He's pushing out the damage with that knee. Kick rocked him. Damn. There's a good shot. Boy, did you see that? MVP wasn't ready for that one. Good three. Oh, what a hit. This could be it. One, and he kicks out. The knee connects again. Ooh, he doesn't know where he is. Oh, no. That last shot busted him wide open. One, that's nowhere near a three count. And there he goes. Back out of the ring. Uh-oh. The Undertaker's been busted open. Oh, man. Heads up. Back out of the ring. Ow. And that one definitely hit hard. Oh. Jeff Hardy just got absolutely destroyed. Looks like he's trying to shake those cobwebs out. Good night. This could be three right here. One. Oh, no. The referee's been knocked out. This can't be good. Mm. Down goes the Undertaker. Tremendous reversal. Wow. Another knee. There's the whip. Strikes with a quick kick. Look at the strength behind those strikes. And he goes down hard. Here's the pin. This could be it. Look out! Oh, oh man, did that boot connect or what? Oh! Back out of the ring. Oh, 
Again with the knee. He's got an opportunity. One. And Undertaker kicks out. And he's dazed. This might do it. One. Two. Three. The game. The game just beat his top three contenders at the same time. Talk about a confidence booster. He's going to the Royal Rumble riding an incredible high. I wonder who he'll select as an opponent on Sunday. After that performance, it might not matter. Don't miss the Royal Rumble, folks. Good night. It's all about the game, and how you play it All about control, if you can take it All about your skin, if you can play it It's all about pain, who's gonna make it? I am the game Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the Royal Rumble I'm Jim Ross, a long way from Oklahoma, along with Taz, and we're in beautiful Calgary, Alberta, Canada, for one of WWE's flagship events. I'm telling you, JR, tonight is going to be some night. Both Triple H and John Cena will put their championships on the line. Then, of course, is the uh, a little thing called the Royal Rumble match itself. Big time. Don't forget the ramifications of those title matches. We're edging closer to WrestleMania, where both brands' champions will compete to become champion of champions. WWE Championship is on the line. And this time, Triple H was able to select his opponent. Yeah, but there was no gimme in that group. <laughs> the momentum is all with that man right now. Whip. This is human chess, man, and he thought one move ahead. The game has come to the Royal Rumble with victory on his mind. Triple H knows he's got the win here to have an opportunity at the champion versus champion match at the big one, WrestleMania. <laughs> Here it comes! A shattering pedigree! This match has got ugly real quick. The WWE Championship is nothing to take lightly. And both these superstars know it. That's 
softball. Undertaker's been busted open. He's able to counter it. Look out. Oh! Talk about your high impact. This could be it. One, and Undertaker kicks out. Good night, nurse. Man, that was a wicked shot. Ow. The game has retained his title and reasserted his dominance. Talk about a huge win for the game. Triple H has all the momentum in the world on his side. It's going to be awfully tough for anyone to dethrone Triple H before WrestleMania. He showed a lot tonight. And this night is far from over. I don't know if you were watching, but I've still got gold around my waist. We'll see if you can say the same after the night is over. Here we go, World Heavyweight title on the line. And this is a title Chris Jericho sincerely wants back. World Heavyweight Championship decided right now at the Royal Rumble. How huge is this? Right down the end. And John Cena's in complete control. Oh, what a shot. Oh, what a slam to the ground. Ugh. And that oh. punch lands hard. World Championship on the line. Cena, a multi-time uh. champion. Jericho, the former champion. Jericho likes to talk about respect, but I don't think these guys will show each other much respect in this match. Here we go, Irish Whip. What 
physicality. What strength. But it did connect. Oh, my. Just raw, unmitigated. That should do it right there. One. And Jericho kicks out. Knocked down. What a shot. He anticipated that move perfectly. And Cena kicks out. Look at those punches. You something with that cut I'm not sure Jericho's gonna be able to stand much longer Bam! good lord what a series of strikes This could do it. One, One two, two, three. Cena did it. Cena gets the win. John Cena overcame some real adversity tonight, but has emerged with the World Heavyweight Championship still in his grasp. Jericho tried everything in his power, but Cena is on an unbelievable roll right now. And one superstar is about to go on a roll at the expense of 29 others. The Royal Rumble match is next. Your time is up, my time is now, now. You can't see me, my time is now, now. Holy smokes! Did Big Show dominate this Royal Rumble or what? It takes more than size to beat 29 other men. The Big Show used every tool in his arsenal to destroy the competition. Why he wasn't a contender to face Triple H is anybody's guess, but I'm sure he turned plenty of heads with that impressive showing. Impressive was right, Taz, and it describes this entire night. Thanks for joining us. SmackDown, coming to you from Vancouver, British Columbia. This is Jim Ross, along with Taz, five days removed from Royal Rumble. It was a great night for the old blue and silver baby SmackDown. Triple H retained the WWE Championship, and SmackDown's own Big Show put a hurting, big hurting, on 29 other guys to win the Rumble match. What's next for these two superstars? Hopefully, we'll find out tonight. Congratulations on your Royal Rumble victory, Triple H. But you know, there is still plenty of time for both you and Cena to lose your championships. Take tonight, for instance. You two will be teaming up. Should one of you be defeated, that person loses their title and the winner gets it. That should be exciting, right?
Let me guess. You got a message from Vince, too. Yeah, he's on a bigger power trip than usual. So, what say we stick to the usual understanding? You stay out of my way, I'll stay out of yours. Yeah, that's a much better idea than working together to ensure we win the match. I don't need you, Cena. Not in the least. If you need help to keep your title, that's not my problem. Have it your way, Hunter. I won't ask for anything, and I won't give you anything. Man, that guy lacks some serious people skills. is a huge chance for both Shelton Benjamin and JBL. It's basically a title match for those two. Can you imagine if JBL pinned Triple H and became WWE Champion? Ooh, good night. He hasn't even given his opponent a chance to breathe. There's a lot of history between John Cena and Triple H, JR. I cannot believe they are not tearing into each other right now. The fact of the matter, Paz, is that this one's about survival. Right now, the game and Cena are fighting to survive as champion. Well, oh, that one's lordy. Oh my! That one knocked him goopier in a pet coop. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh, 
That elbow just leveled him. Perhaps another one. And that one staggered him. Elbow connects. A kick. It's not pretty, but it's effective. And he strikes with a quick kick. <laughs> Attitude adjustment. What a situation JBL and Benjamin are in. If you peg out, can't win the belt. And now he's sharing a piece of his mind. The tag's been made and his partner's coming in. Down he goes. Massive shot with force and velocity. JBL plummets like a falling stock market. Oh man! That double A spine button. Just when the game needed it, he played that big card. A pair of aces. Finally, the ref cleans this mess up. Oh, man. So far, he's been dominating. But you've got to assume he'll need to tag his partner sooner or later. And it goes running. There's the elbow. A sharp kick. Oh, jeez. And he finally heads back out of the ring. Finally, we might get some corner in this way. There it is, the pedigree. He's got an opportunity. One, His partner's two, down. Three. three. They did it. Wow. What a man. They might not be best friends, but Triple H and John Cena pull off the victory. You back those kind of guys into a corner, JR, and they're more dangerous than ever. Cena and the game prove that tonight. It's the Big Show. Hot off his Royal Rumble victory, he doesn't look happy. There went Shelton. JVL is no match for the largest athlete in the world. He just took out both champions at once. I'm done being overlooked on SmackDown. How do you overlook a seven foot tall, fire breathing giant? I demand a trade to ECW. They've been ignored for too long and I have too. Together we'll be ignored no more.
Montez? Big Show heading back to the land of extreme? With revenge on his mind, JR, this is Trouble. Thank you for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Raw is live from Buffalo, New York. This is a beautiful city, but it's a little on the chilly side. Unlike you, Michael, I'm not used to getting a cold reception everywhere I go. Well, King, you'll be happy to know that things will heat up tonight. Randy Orton has earned himself a shot at John Cena's World Heavyweight title in our main event. John Cena once again put his championship on the line, this time against Randy Orton. Meanwhile, we're joined by the world's largest athlete. Uh, what brings you to Raw, Big Show? Since everybody thinks Raw is such a superior brand, I wanted to see how good it was in person. Going to the top Come rope. On, get back in the ring. One. Two. And John Cena's in complete control. Three. Come on, move it. Four. No, no, that, that's concrete damage. Spending more time outside the ring than in it. One. Two. So do you really think Three. that I don't believe it? He put his Come opponent on. right Get through the table. The ring. And Randy takes a hard Four. shot. What a nasty elbow. Here we go. Irish whip. Look at 
those punches. More punishing than that. If you were to face tonight's winner show, which one of these two... He's going for the pin! One, two, three! Cena did it. Cena gets the win. title defense for John Cena. You call that impressive? Watch ECW tomorrow. Watch me destroy Tommy Dreamer to become ECW champion. Then you'll see impressive. Is Tommy Dreamer on the verge of putting away Big Show? Uh, yeah, that would be a no. On his first night back in his old stomping grounds, Big Show is once again ECW Champion. This represents a changing of the guard. It's time for ECW to take a stand. We need to fight back against SmackDown, against Raw. And show them we're not just as good as them. We're better. And we deserve a presence in the Champion of Champions match. A giant presence. We are winners, show. And we know other winners when we see them. We'll stand by your side in this noble quest. We think Raw and SmackDown are a bunch of wussies anyway. Cena, Triple H, prepare for ECW. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of SmackDown. I'm Jim Ross, here alongside Taz in wonderful Seattle, Washington. You know, it rains a lot here in Seattle, but the Big Show sure can cause a storm here on ECW. It's like he's a leader of a rebellion or something. He all but declared war on the other brands. But we can't worry about that. Not when we have a WWE Championship match tonight featuring Triple H and Edge. With Big Show making threats, I can't risk my match being interrupted. I should try to finish off Edge as soon as possible. You think you know me.
contest is for the WWE Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 241 pounds, the Rated R Superstar Edge. Triple H defending the WWE Championship once again in this highly competitive match against Edge. Edge knows how to win in a clutch. A pure pressure player. The title could change hands tonight. A big clubbing blow. <laughs> that elbow did some damage. What a shot! Down he goes! Oh, man! And that one dropped it. One more time! Dishing out the damage with that knee. Here it comes! The game seems to be fighting with a sense of urgency here, Taz. You heard what Big Show said on ECW. I'd be concerned also. Damn! Pedigree! They don't get much bigger than that. Break the hole! And it goes running! Wait a second, what's he doing? Edge is on Dream Street. The pedigree, he's looking to put his opponent away right here. The Cerebral Assassin may be more dominant than ever before. If there's anyone who's a WWE Hall of Famer in the making, it's him! Oh no! Big Show's threats have come to fruition. ECW is attacking the WWE Champion! These two may have bitten off more than they could chew messing with the game. Oh man, Triple H's own trademark sledgehammer comes back to haunt him. Followed up 
with Morrison's signature Moonlight Drive. desecrate the WWE Championship like that? Ugh. I cannot believe what we have just witnessed. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, live from Cleveland, Ohio. Michael Cole, along with Jerry the King Lawler. Michael, John Cena's World Heavyweight Championship is again on the line tonight. I can't believe how often he's been forced to defend it lately. Every week gets us closer to WrestleMania King. The Champion of Champions match is looming, and everyone wants to be involved, including JBL. Just the man I wanted to see. You got it rough these days, Cena. Having to defend your championship almost every week. I'll do you a favor. I'll beat you so bad, you won't be able to compete tonight. If you could barge in here and actually do that, then I don't deserve to be a champion. Let's do this. I guess Mark Henry didn't come alone. My goodness, superhuman power by Big Show. And he's pummeling John Cena. God, Cena's body was rocketed to the concrete floor by a giant choke slam. He needs immediate help. Somebody get back there. He's not going to do the same thing Miz and Morrison did on SmackDown, is he? This went way beyond just making a point. Big Show is absolutely sick.
Well, look who made their way back to our little neck of the woods. ECW, we have to hand it to you. You did what nobody on Raw or SmackDown has been able to do to us. You came to our shows, beat us up, and destroyed our titles. I'm no scientist, but I think the formula goes, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's why we're here, to prove Sir Isaac Newton right. Now, we can stand here and talk about what we're gonna do to you, Big Show, or you could just get your big ass out here and take the beating you have coming to you. Well, it's a big show. Maybe you two don't realize, but there's a brand war going on. Mr. McMahon wanted competition? Well, he got it. And we fired the first shots. You made ECW out to be worthless, so we made your titles worthless. And now you're here. For what? To start something you can't finish? You boys are outgunned. Allow me to demonstrate. Look, Cena and Triple H are destined for the Hall of Fame, but how self-absorbed do you have to be to barge into ECW and think we wouldn't be prepared? Well, ECW's ready, but are we truly ready for oh, Cena and Triple H? He's reeling. Oh, look at that. That didn't land flush, but it did connect. Look out. Into the backdrop and uh, could have cracked into pelvis on that one. Oh my gosh, how many shots was that? And there's a face buster. Ah, what a decapitating Larry. Break you in half, ladies and gentlemen. Cena hits a huge move. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Again, you got it. Nice, beautiful. Just a pummeling. And that clothesline almost took his head off. That vertical base was shaken. Oh man, he teed off on that one. I will tell you right now, damage such as this to the neck has shortened the careers of so many superstars. That was a nasty shot. He bails out of the ring. is about to take flight. Cena 
Hitman Triple H may have taken down some soldiers, but ECW's general is still at full strength. That's blatant vandalism right there. The champions of Raw and SmackDown have retaliated against ECW here tonight, but this is far from over. Greetings from Indianapolis, Indiana, and welcome to Monday Night Raw with Jerry the King Lawler. I'm Michael Cole, and do we have a show for you tonight? Cena may have been handling issues with ECW recently, but the animal Batista has worked his way up to become number one contender for Cena's World Heavyweight Championship. The two will meet this weekend at No Way Out, but they'll actually be partners tonight in tag team action. Not by a long shot. In fact, I hold you responsible for the World Heavyweight Championship getting destroyed. Ha! Huh. Some champ you are. this should be. We have the former champion, the current champion, and perhaps the next champion. Boy, when you say next champion, it's hard to put a finger on who that could be. Batista has the title shot this Sunday, but Jericho and Kane are waiting in the wings. Oh, and he's just taking it to him. Oh! with momentum early on. There they go! Uh. 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 Watch it! That was like a freight train! and hurt his hand. Then he takes him down with a toss. Here we go, Irish whip. It's almost as if Cena and Batista are trying to prove something to each other. Well, it's obvious that the animal and Cena are trying to outdo one another. His partner's being punished and he's seen it up. Look at those punches! What's he planning here? He's in bad shape. He's got to make the tag. I think he's through playing around! in his eyes. He saw that one coming. Just listen to his body crash into the ground. Oh! That 
may have put Jericho's lights out. stars, you're looking at Constellation. Another huge tackle there. Oh my, look at this. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Look at this! Could it be? This could do it. One, One two, two, three! three. I have to say that I'm surprised. Cena and Batista managed to hold it together. There's mutual respect there, definitely. I don't think they'll be quite so cordial. Had no way out, however. Especially when Mr. McMahon said whoever has the title after no way out will be in the Champion of Champions match. No way out is definitely an event you don't want to miss. And it's this weekend. See you then, folks. Your time is up, my time is now, now. You can't see me, my time is now, now. It's the franchise where I'm shining now, now. for joining us tonight for Friday Night Smackdown, ladies and gentlemen. JR and Taz, coming to you from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I don't know if Triple H is aware of this or not since he's been busy with ECW, but Jeff Hardy earned a title opportunity at No Way Out. You're absolutely right, Taz. And GM Vicky Guerrero even agreed to make it a tables match, which could give Hardy an advantage. Neither one is going to have an advantage here tonight, in my opinion. They're going to have to work as a team. championship just for that. You're lucky I didn't have any respect for you to begin with, or I would have lost it all right there. Weighing 184 pounds, the Brian Here at 
athleticism. Finally, the ref cleans this mess up. Oh, he sucked him back in off that Irish whip, and you see the result. He's seen enough. Here he comes. MVP escapes that one. Oh, good grief. What impact. I'm an MVP fan, but he is not looking too hot right about now. There's no most valuable player award or tag teammate. He needs to tag out. The tag has been made, and now his partner's coming in. And he finally heads back out of the ring. Finally, we might get some order in this match. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> And a heap of impact delivered with that elbow. Oh, my. And down he goes. Wow. Another knee. Oh, and that one got it. And it goes running. What a sick Larry. Good grief. Oh my God! Oh God, what is that? This could be it! What? And he's been a one-man army. Forget tags. He's in firm control. The pedigree. He's looking to put his opponent away right here. Making a cover. What? That's nowhere near a three count. Unloading with that kick to the midsection. And there's the tag. And MVP's on the hunt. Have you noticed while SmackDown and Raw talk at their champions, ECW is one united group? The folks on ECW have tremendous pride in their brand, as you well know, Ted. If Raw and SmackDown don't start working together, we can expect a hellacious beating from the crew on Tuesday night. What? Look out! What a landing! Back out in the ring. What a shot! He's putting the knee to his opponent.
You gotta be careful when you're going up there. Oh, that's a serious shot there. Oh my, he's bleeding. That's an unfortunate side effect of this very physical competition. Again with the elbow. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if MVPs. This could be three right here. One, two. two. He I'm feels that here. was a three count. And the monarch of the match decided it's time to fly. Back out of the ring. Looks like he's trying to shake those cobwebs out. And he goes down hard. Uh-oh. The ref's on Green Street right about now. Putting the knee to his opponent. And that was a huge shot. Oh, jeez. What a flurry of punches. The elbow connects again. He's looking to do some serious damage right here. It don't get much bigger than that. One, One two, two, three. They did it. Both superstars got a check in the win column tonight. But only one will leave no way out as champion. Whatever partnership they had tonight could go right out the window in a second. Hopefully, these two talented athletes will let bygones be bygones. here oh man pedigree i'm not sure who started that but triple h definitely finished it for tonight but in two days they'll settle things in a tables match both for the wwe championship and to determine who will go to wrestlemania and compete to become champion of champions Welcome to No Way Out, live to the Motor City. I'm Michael Cole, calling the action with my colleague, Jerry the King Lawler. What a show this should be, Michael. John Cena against the Animal Batista for the World Heavyweight Championship. The roof could blow off this arena. And let's not forget the tables match for the WWE Championship on the SmackDown side, with Triple H taking on Jeff Hardy. Let's get right to the action.
and here's our first major title match of the night. Oh. Jeff Hardy's been in more Jeff. table matches, but nobody in the WWE comes close to the championship experience of the game. Oh, that's feel bad for A big clubbing blow. Yeah. He hasn't even given his opponent a chance to breathe. He doesn't know where he is. And again, he moves to the outside. Look out! What a landing! And he's dazed! And it goes running! The neck break! Out of the ring! What's gonna happen now? in the game have had one incredible rivalry over the years. Triple H certainly doesn't want to lose this match. Not only would he lose the title, but odds are he'd be eliminated from the champion of champions match at WrestleMania. That'll knock you silly. To the ropes. And there's the monkey flip. Triple H, a student of the game. He knows how dangerous Jeff Hardy is in a table smash. That's why he's beating the snot out of Jeff. If he takes out the legs and weakens Jeff's torso, it'll severely limit Jeff's opportunity. Oh! Good night, nurse. Man, that was a wicked shot. Ow! Good night. Look at that. Talk about a crimson mess. Oh, good Lord. What are we going to see here? That elbow just leveled it. That one definitely hit hard. He's left the ring again, playing mind games with his opponent. Watch it at the table. And down he goes. with the strength behind those strikes. A quick Irish whip. <clears throat> and the Jeff Hardy fans, Triple H wins. The game wins. The game retained his WWE Championship in smashing fashion. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a shame that, that the ECW guys kind of destroyed the, the title belt. I don't really agree with that. If I'm not mistaken, 
This means Triple H also has a ticket to WrestleMania and the Champion of Champions match. Well, we'll see if John Cena can do the same thing against, well, Batista next. Hi, John. It's Shane McMahon. I know you're getting ready for tonight, but uh, just gotta just gotta say there's been a little change. After watching the SmackDown Tables match, I'm adding a stipulation to yours. It will now be a last man standing match. Good luck. This is our main event of the evening. John Cena versus the animal, Batista. I can't believe Shane made this a KO match, as if this showdown needed an extra dose of brutality. What impact, launching himself off the ropes. Momentum early on. Cena and Batista. There may not be two more beloved superstars on the Raw roster. It's always electric when these two men square off, but I can't believe they're going to actually try to knock each other out. <laughs> I can only imagine how excruciating that must be. wearing down the midsection. Oh, it doesn't get more punishing than that. He sweeps his leg, and there's the STO! And Batista has battled his way back. Oh! What's he up to here? He anticipated that move perfectly. Here we go! Irish whip! That'll cause some damage. Oh, and he's just taking it to it. He's taking control again! He's reeling! Oh, wow! Batista's been leveled! Here they go! Ouch! What a landing! Oh! Ow! What a display of power! Here we go! Irish whip! And just tossing him to the ground. That's definitely a tie turner.
hanging up. Anyone else would already be out by now. The animal's will is unbelievable. One. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's it. Cena did it. Cena gets the win. Cena did the seemingly impossible. He knocked out Batista. And his reward is a date with destiny at WrestleMania. Tonight's action definitely lived up to the hype. It was amazing. It sure was, King. Thanks for joining us for No Way Out. We'll see you tomorrow night, live on Monday Night Raw. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. We're one day removed from No Way Out, where both Triple H and John Cena retain their titles. That means one of them will be declared champion of champions at WrestleMania. Speaking of champions, John Cena is heading to the ring right now. Ever since Mr. McMahon talked about the champion of champions match at WrestleMania, the locker room has been buzzing. The WWE Universe has been buzzing. Tonight, we lead up to that monumental match. And since we're on my home turf of Raw, I've volunteered to break things down. Since Mr. McMahon's announcement, a few things have changed, and a few things haven't. What stayed the same is that Triple H and I are still champions, even if our titles got a little remodeled recently. What's a little different is that Vince has thrown a big wrench into the works. That wrench is the ECW champion, Big Show. The three of us will compete in the next four weeks in a series of events called the Champions Challenge. That means I'll be slapping Big Show and Triple H around for the next four weeks. So I'm pretty excited about that. And whoever wins the most champions challenges will pick the match type at WrestleMania. Tonight, I get to choose. And I wanted to involve the WWE Universe. We're gonna have something I call the Hype Meter Challenge. Me, The Game, and Big Show are all gonna have separate matches. When we do something you like, you cheer. We do something you don't like, let us have it. Simple, right? The one who hits the highest point on the hype meter, and of course wins their match, is declared the winner. So let's start the show. Whoa, it looks like we're starting the champion's challenges right now.
get this straight. Cena, Triple H, and Big Show have to impress the fans the most in their matches? That's right, gang. The WWE fans will determine who wins this week's competition. Never ever underestimate the sheer force behind this superstar's punches. Look out! The referee's been knocked out! He's still not through! It. That was like a freight train. What a sequence of punches. like that.